Okay, it's Monday morning, about nine o'clock. I've just done an hour on the sofa. Quite often on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I manage to get an hour in between sleep just to top up. It's not major. I don't feel like uh, I need it all the time. I get half free every day of the week. It's my choice, not, you know, I don't want to pat on the back or anything. I just religiously rise at that time in the morning. I just, because I've been doing it so long, I just wake up. And then I go out on the fire and make sure everything's all alright. Just get the cage running and what have you. Just make sure everybody turns out. Everybody usually does. Not many people oversleep. Either. We have nine people usually get up that time of morning across the board. And they're all pretty good at rising up in the morning. I just get in, I've just got I've just had a sleep. I'm gonna get up and gonna go out on the fire now and have a look. This is what I do when I first wake up in the morning at half three. I come down here, make a cup of tea, I make two cups of coffee actually. It's all ready to go. I just got to pour the water in and pour the milk in. And I'll take one out on the farm for me, one out on the farm for Tim. The others don't usually drink it. They usually drink cold water or um, squash or stuff like that or bring their own. I always look at my weather gauge first thing in the morning, look at the temperature early in the morning, and I usually look to see how much rain we've had. It's been really hot in the morning. So it's been over 10 right away from spring May. So I've just been walking out like this. Sometimes I put a waistcoat on, depends how I feel, but I usually take an over quite hot. And I go on outside. Right, well he's on. Sunday's quite a busy day for me and Emma. We like the, um, if we're gonna do any household jobs when we get it done. Always like the long cut Sundays, tidy up right in front. Everybody drives past our house to get to the farm. So if you want it clean and tidy on the farm, you've got to set it as a sample yourself, really. So we do that. We keep the lawns cut. The boys cut lawns. I ain't cut the lawns at all this year. Clean my truck off, like I said in the other video. Just jump in and see what we've got to do at the farm. Always used to walk up to here from my place. I never used to drive. Even when I used to milk up here, Day in, day out, I used to just walk on up the track. It's about a hundred meters probably for the farm to the house here. Uh, to, to the house to the farm. Have a quick look around, it's relatively quiet. Front of the farm. Gotta move that trailer on that truck someone ready for the winter, tidy all that. The flowers are no longer on the flower bed. He's killed over. Summer is officially over. Look at the milk ticket, see if the milk's gone up or down. I'll go down the sand beds in a minute with the cows. Just shine over the size count so I see what the size count wants doing. They all want doing really. So we'll do them at the weekends if we got to, but it looks like we haven't and we've scratched through. So I'm gonna go on down there and do that. I reckon Toby has gone up on the autumn unit feeding. And he's gonna go either power her on a hedge cut Brother Tom has just been up with a quad bike for the grass seeder. So I take it he's gonna put the grass seed on with that. So I've got a few bears. I've got to take him out the grass seed probably. He'll want that to help him along because that's a slow old job. We've had a load of sand come at the weekend and we've put that in the shed. And I can see one of the calf pens wants a little bit of straw. But I've got no tractor here at the moment so I'm probably gonna to have to do that with a quad bike. All tractors are right busy working today. So um, it's gonna be one of those sort of days if anything he's doing, we'll do the essentials. The next time a tractor comes back to this farm now, it's gonna be at two o'clock, just to push the silage up, and then he's probably gonna shoot off again. And then all I gotta do this afternoon, cause I'm here this afternoon, is I gotta drive these cows out for milking, for calfing Phoebe, I'm gonna scrape up, Toby will shoot back, put the size out and shoot off again. And then I've got to feed the calves. Make sure there's no problems going with the parlour and that. It usually happens within the first hour. Um, you never know what could happen, but um, touch wood, it all go all well. Feed the calves, check dry cows, and then this farm's done. I'm gonna go, so these have been in here now a good three or four hours. Uh, we finished milking about uh, quarter past seven. I'm just gonna go down through the sand beds, rate your shit off. Make sure nothing's done the splits and whatnot. Just have a general check round. And then I'm probably gonna go up on the autumn unit. Just
just to see how they're getting on. I won't do no work there because you've got loose people out there. And Josh Stefan are out there doing the yard jobs. Toby's out there doing a the feed in. Tom's out in the field doing a um, doing a seed in and whatnot. Yeah, now I'll just see how they're getting on. I have a general chat. I spoke to Tom twice a day already on the phone. Now I got up on the spring unit because I've got to do some gutters up there. Also, we've got the post banger on up there, but I expect Tim's already cracking on with that because he'll be quite quick, uh, quite keen today. I've got to go out to the dry cows actually. We've had one slip calf, but we're probably going to leave that cow out there because he was before he was barren anyway. So he, he's on the list for barreners. But I've got to get the calf in because he done that last night, that cow. And then just have a look around, okay, just to make sure all's good. And to make sure, the most important thing is they're going to eat all their silage. Because they've got all this concentrate in the soil now, they need to eat all this every day. Eat the whole lot or they're not going to get their concentrate. And the milk will drop. They will stick it for a little bit, but it will drop. So we've got to make sure we get that right. And it's quite hard because the weather's up and down. It's a really hot day yesterday. It's cooled off a little bit a day, a little bit cloudier. But the cows all stood out here yesterday in the sun. Today they're not, they're all in the sheds eating, most definitely better. Right, let's do some bed raking. Just walking down through the caves with this sand scraper raking a few shits off. Just having a look around for bullets and what have you. Because we've got no heat detection system at all on this all year round car and it's purely by eyesight. And up to now it's worked pretty good. Like, you know, I'm not going to lie, you do get the odd one. What, you don't know what's going on, he comes in the parlour. And we're like, well, this one's not giving a great deal of milk, but he's, he hasn't been spotted bullying or whatnot. Do you get one or two of that, but I don't see no affect the system too much. Um, but they're really quite a day. The only thing we've got to watch on these cows being in day and night now, and they're um, perking up on the milk yield. Well, I say they've gone out about two litres of cows since they've come in, but we sort of knew that was going to happen because the soil is just really good quality, and they've gone in a straight and amazed size and whole crop, and four kilos of blend flat rate across the board. So the ones what were just starting to drop off, what peaked out, have now perked back up. We've got dermatitis to look out for though. Here's one Phoebe's marked up. Whoops. Here's one Phoebe's marked up here, a bit of green on his leg. Just got to keep an eye on him. The cheapest way, I think, just to keep on top of that is just to run him down through the foot bath every afternoon, once a day, copper sulfate foot bath. It's just pretty straightforward. They march on down through, just wash it out two or three times the milk in. We've got an auto flush one, so that helps out. Do it quite often. And um, that just, you know, it doesn't solve the problem, but it keeps up with it. Because it is just, when you walk out in the yard first thing in the morning, let the cows in the collecting yard. You want to scrape the yards up at night too, really. Sometimes we don't, sometimes we do. But at the moment we are. Because, it, like, that shit, any, like, if you got the dermatitis on your farm, so we never used to have it up on a spring unit. And we thought it was the cows, but it's not because it's gone out now, it's come from here. So we've got dermatitis everywhere. It's like, it's quite horrible stuff. Like, it gets on their claw. Like, these get worse in the spring calving cows. But they're, um, yeah, you, just any muck, what's been left like more than six hours, like slurry, is just got it in it. And the cow is standing it, and it'll just stick on its back foot, and you get dermy straight away. So you just got to run the whole herd down through foot bath, copper sulfate, I find. Do a bit of like formula now and again if you want. But um, copper seems to work the best for that. Do that, and it, um, there's another one here too, what's been sprayed at. Got a little bit on the back of the still. So, um, but it's just this time, you, well, it's all through the winter really, because it's warm quite often here, right at the Christmas. So, um, you just got to keep, Keep going on top of it, and that helps them out a lot. Go on. Most of this muck, what I scooped off on the beds is because I scraped out too fast this morning, and you know, I didn't see it. So that's why I've come back down here and flipped a bit off. We've got these caves on salt too at the moment. They uh, want a bit more, but they're loving the salt. They're really shiny. But we have got a dosatron what puts mag into the water only a little bit but up on the spring unit we've got that too putting a lot of mag in the case because we have had a bit of grass daggers out there well, i did think but i thought we were over it actually because i don't know we haven't had it for a while in october but on the spring unit i thought we were getting over that mag um i thought 
thought it would be a bit too late. But um, it's happened. We've had two now. We've had one go down quite hard in the yard. So no, but these cows, the mag, they don't really need it, I don't think, but it helps them out. It makes the motion shiny. It makes them strong. It makes them strong and they're looking nice and shiny and good. And they're chewing their cuds and no cud balling. Some years see you get cud balls all in there. They're all right. No cud balling at all. That's good. Autumn unit cows going along the road there, grazing. This farm is about two and a half, three miles away from the all year round camp unit. So nice and nice and smooth run. It's seen to meet a lot of traffic because it is in the village. Right, let's see how Tom's getting on. There he is on the ground. Josh has just loaded him up. Toby's staying in there somewhere, hedge cutting. He's doing the maze field. Ready for seeding. I'm going to put drone nuts here. We go. Since I've been here, we put a drone up, we've had a few problems with a hedge trimmer. He keeps folding round, folding himself up. When you hedge come, what's a pain in the ass because he folds himself back round and can't do nothing. So we pointed out how to fiddle and it, it's electrics again. It always is electrics of anything. It seems to break down. And then we pulled A back in place, tied it up a bit and off he goes. But just little things like that. See, he takes up, I've been down here an hour and I, just messing about with that, get it go. But he's tracking on the right, he should get all this done today, and that's the maze grind hedges all done, and we're just ready to reseed all the rest then. Well, if you know it's all ready, now we've got this in. He's all right. He's got slin. It's all good stuff this year. Plenty of it. Yeah, what if you noticed already with this stuff? Now we've got in a clamp is the rats are coming in. I come down here this morning with a tractor and bucket. Two rats running along the side there. So, and we're down on cats this year, actually. We've usually got plenty of cats on this farm, but we are down on a few. I don't know what that's all about. I reckon a lot of the Tom's done a runner, walked off. So the farm, the spring unit is about four miles from here, door to door. And we've got cats up there, and I'm driving in between all the time. And we got a tomcat from here up there now. We didn't take him up. He just appeared up there. And some of us reckon he got in my truck and he rid in the truck. But I don't think he did. You know, he, he, sometimes you get kittens and I jump in the truck and, that, and they jump out halfway down or whatever and fall out the bottom. I reckon he followed the scent up. I reckon he followed the like the females who are always jumping on my truck up on spring unit. I reckon he smelt that and he followed the scent and he, he walked all the way up there. 